everyone I'm back off holiday and I've just nipped out into the garden and picked a few tomatoes that are red so this is what I picked out the garden I just had a quick uh, uh, look round and there's a lot more well quite a few more that are red but not quite as uh, red as these I think the birds have been uh, pinching my tomatoes look at that that's one of the outside ones Beef steak were inside, got a bit of a uh, cat facing on the bottom, but it's that black's just not rotten or anything, so that's fine. I've just been talking to my friend Babette, and she asked me what my beef steak tomatoes taste like. Well, seeing as this, seeing as this is the first time I've ever grown beef steak, I thought I would uh, do a little uh, cut the tomato in half and a taste it session, especially for Babette. There we are, Babette. Look at them. Now, there don't seem to be many seeds in there. The only bit of the bit of the jelly there, where the seeds are normally are. That's quite meaty, that is, isn't it? I wonder if this is why they call it beefsteak. Look at that. There we are. I've cut it open. Cut it up. one of them other pieces. There's a few more seeds there, look, compared to that side. So let's have a taste. So let's see what this tastes like. Hmm. Yes, it tastes um, tomatoey. A little bit um, watery on one point, but I think that is this top bit here. Let me try. Oh yes, the bit with the seeds in, bit where the seeds are in there, that is very juicy, very tomatoey, very quite a strong taste. The bit that's watery is this little white bit at the top. So that's quite nice. That's really nice. Right, I'm comparing it to a little cherry tomato. So you've got a lot more seeds in that. Let me just get this one back over here. There you can see. So you've got a lot more seeds in that. All right, I'll have a taste of this one and see uh, what I think to this one. Now, that's slightly different. I'm not, I wouldn't say it was sweeter. In fact, I think I prefer the beef steak. That was quite uh, nice, that beefsteak one was. That one is definitely not as strong as the beefsteak. Now, I wonder what this one tastes like. I'm not quite sure whether this one is completely ripe or not. Uh, I think they got a little bit more orangey. Let me just look at the other one. Yeah, they're about the same colour. I think I might have picked these a little bit early, but we'll see. Let me cut it in half and see what it's like inside. Whoops, rolling away and taste it. There we are. They are about the same as the red ones, I, should, I think, by the looks of it. Plenty of uh, uh, jelly stuff inside there and seeds. Right, let's have a taste. Hmm, this one's not got much taste to it. It might be because it's not quite ready yet. You seem to get more of a taste, a tomato taste, when you get to the jelly bit where the seeds are, rather than the rest of it. So that's quite surprising. I've never analysed um, tomatoes before for the taste. I've just gone up there and grabbed them and ate them. So, but I must say, they're a lot better than the ones... I've been buying for Mark's sandwiches uh, from the shop so it's quite nice to have some nice tasting tomatoes instead of tomatoes that taste of nothing and uh, now we will go and have a look around the garden and go and get the cucumbers that are massive look 
it's not completely snapped but nearly has the tomatoes seem all right on it so i'm leaving it as it is just keep watering it well and hope nothing else snaps off so everything's looking about the same don't expect the hanging baskets to be looking at the best because they're about going over anyway some of the plants in it the fuchsia, this fuchsia's not uh, got much flowers left on it but it has been producing lots of flowers oh look at my little flowers I said this was going to be full of flowers it was full of buds before I went away look at that look pretty Dahlias are for a lot of them's come out. There's quite a few uh, kind of come out. I have been gone. Oh look, we have a bee again. The bees love the dahlias. So I've been and picked a couple off of uh, these. But I've left them to go a bit more red. And that top one there, it's nearly ready. But I've not got many red, I was expecting more red than that when I got back. All the flowers are doing well still. This new one is really doing well. So Emma's done a good job as normal. Bit of deadheading to do. Everything looks fabulous. The quick is round. Oh look, Cosmos out. This Cosmos came out of that white mix that I had. So, oh, the last of the sunflowers. So these to go red. Just look at the size of them. They have turned a little bit, tiny little bit more to a light green and there's loads and loads more down there as well I can't reach I've had one off this um, Roma this is absolutely packed but they only ever so small well the colour lilies are still going strong look at them So, let's look at the peppers, see how they've been doing. Oh, I've got some on there. Oops, sorry. They look all right. And my Russian black looks as though it's... Uh, that's quite a big one. I wasn't expecting them to be that big. I was expecting them to be cherry size. Don't ask me why I thought they'd be cherry size. Some more peppers here. These are slightly lighter green. It might be a yellow pepper. So that's another beefsteak tomato plant that is packed full of beefsteaks. I think that one goes around there. There's even more around that side. And this one is Moneymaker. Oh no, it's not. It's Tigerella. I can see the stripes in it, sorry. And if we go down here. There's plenty more. Not quite sure what this one is. I think this one might be a moneymaker. I'm not overly sure. I'm going to be making sure my labelling is a lot better for next year. Then we have this one. Another one I don't know what it is. Oops, it's got quite a lot on it. But the ones that are similar to this outside are a lot bigger. But they haven't got as many trusses. The plant hasn't grown as big. In fact, the plant is only probably up to about, what I say, here. And got two sets of trusses on. And that's got three sets of trusses on at the same height. And then it goes up right up there we have another beef steak that's got uh, oops, you can see it's got loads and it's even got some little ones up here look at that little tiny ones 
I've stopped all these um, plants so they won't grow any taller and look what's happened up here I stopped it but left a few well, I stopped, kind of pinched it out but didn't catch the, fla the flower buds and I've got even got some some coming up there the last beefsteak that one's at the end of the tunnel that's the last plant in the tunnel and that's doing well that is absolutely packed full here we have aroma but inside the tunnel and that's doing really well it's got it's packed I think some of these leaves could do with coming off this is my aubergine so they've uh, flowered and I'm just hoping that um, the bees have done their magic and the other one on the other side we have a flower here can't see any other oh there's some loads more buds coming there look so it's doing well so we should have some aubergines in a bit oh there's loads more up there look, look at them we might have a stack of aubergines I've got a droopy leaf on my um, cucumbers that's not a good sign uh, either means I don't think Emma's been in here she's just left the watering system to it um, and I didn't have it set on ever such a lot of watering because it said it was going to be cooler so th that was a mistake so this is the first oh sorry the first massive cucumber and we have some more here and something is tickling me on the back of the neck as long as it's not a bee so let me see if I can get some of these cut off There's some more here Look at them. and more here and I bet we've got some further down as well Let's... oh there's some big ones down here oh. can we get to these get them Alright, better, uh, better get to cutting some of these off. I'm struggling to bend because I've got a, a bit of a bad back. So uh, I'm struggling bending over and filming. So I think I better cut them off and um, show them you after I've cut them off. Alright, if I can find my way to my scissors and my box. Well, we have quite a few cucumbers. One two oops can't get them to stand still in fact they're quite prickly some of these three four five ah! did have five six seven eight Go and retrieve the one I dropped. Went and got it. Eight cucumbers. So you know what I'm going to be eating all the time this week. I don't know whether you can see this, but I've got some beans to pick. I need to get in there. Look at all them beans. I don't know whether you can see it. You probably can't. I'm going to have to go closer. Look at the beans. Yes! Right. There's some more down here. Look at them. I think I better start picking. So that's a nice few beans. That'll do nicely for my dinner. <laughs> 